So today's lesson is going to be a continuation of yesterday's lesson, and it's going to be on figurative language. So today's LEQ is on the screen. It says, how does figurative language enhance and impact the meaning of the poem? Yesterday, we looked at the song Stereo Hearts, and we analyzed the extended metaphor that the poem used. So today, we're going to take that a step further. And now that we've done it as a class and you've done it with partners, you're going to do one of these individually. And we're going to look at a poem called When I Was Young to do that. So what does the poem say? I'm going to read the poem to you for the first time through, and I just want you to listen and follow along on the screen. When I was young, the world was Liberty Street. We'd dam the creek out back and make deep pools to wade in. We'd construct two ramps, and Ronnie would race down the street on his bicycle and fly from one to the other over our log-like legs as we lay on our stomachs praying he'd make it. We'd catch fireflies in mason jars, but their slippery sides slid down our hands and shattered them in the road, releasing the flickering prisoners. We'd pick rhubarb and pull the strings off the stalks and dip them in grainy sugar and suck out the stinging sharpness. We'd climb on the lumber piles by the church they were building two houses down from mine, the splinters sticking in us like porcupine quills, the sawdust clinging to our shirts like burrs on a dog. So now that we've read it the first time through, we talked yesterday about uh, the fact that the second time we read a poem, we're going to kind of analyze it and think about what does the poem do in terms of author's craft. You can see at the bottom of the screen an example of the song that we did yesterday and my annotations along the side. There is no stanza in there that goes untouched. Uh, with each stanza, there should be kind of a little summary of what's going on in the stanza, or if you can find some examples of figurative language like similes, metaphors, personification, or hyperbole, you should identify those, label those, and then analyze them for their meaning. So at this point, you can pause the video and take out your paper version of when I was young and go through and annotate it for figurative language and uh, write kind of a short summary next to each stanza. Um, in terms of whatever you think is going on in that stanza, what the stanza means. When you're finished, you can hit play again. So now that you've read the stanza, the first time just to kind of get a big picture of it, the second time to analyze the meaning of it and kind of the figurative language, now what I want you to do on the back of your paper, uh, the poem, I want you to write a one to two sentence um, summary kind of that captures the meaning of the poem. What is the message? Uh, what is the purpose behind the poem? The author's purpose uh, for writing it. And when you're finished, you can continue the video. Here are a few examples of poems that students from previous years have written. Uh, imitations of the When I Was Young poem that you just read. This one's a three stanza poem. If you want to pause the video, you can read this one now. Here's another example of a poem that was written by a seventh grade student that ended up in the Equus. You can pause the video now and read through this example. So now what I want you to do, now that you've read through some examples of When I Was Young poems that other students have read, you're going to have the opportunity to write your own When I Was Young poem. Each of you has, I'm sure, a few places from your childhood that were important to you or even a place right now that's important to you, and you all have clearly memories that you like to share. Uh, they could be good memories, they could be bad memories, they could be sad memories, um, they can be any kind of memory. Um, that resonates with you. So in your writer's notebook, in the front of your notebook, you're going to find the new page, the next new page in your notebook, and you're going to put the title, When I Was Young, at the top and date it with today's date. And then underneath that, you're going to brainstorm some locations that were important to you or are important to you as a child. It could be a street, it could be a town, it could be a neighborhood, um, it could be a destination of some sort that you spent a lot of time in. <clears throat> Here's my example. So my childhood, I spent a lot of time at my house, my, where my parents currently live. I spent a lot of time at Bearsville. That's where um, I went to elementary school. My grandparents lived on Orchard Lane, and I spent most of my summers there. So that's another place that was important to me. And then my best friend at the time was a girl named Erica. 
So I spent a lot of time at her house in my childhood. So those are four places that kind of stood out to me as having both good, bad, happy, sad memories. So I put those on my brainstorm chart. So the next thing that you would do from here is to uh, choose one of these locations that kind of stands out to you. And I think I'm going to do the Orchard Lane for mine. And around the outside of this, you're then going to brainstorm, kind of have those little tentacles coming off and brainstorm as many memories as you can <clears throat> for the location that you've designated as your top choice. So again, they could be happy memories, sad memories, uh, painful memories, any memories that kind of come to mind, you're going to brainstorm them around the outside of this little box. Or you can make a new web in your writer's notebook. Either way is fine with me. So at this point, please pause the video and do your brainstorm in your writer's notebook. When you're finished brainstorming and you have the memories for the location that you've designated, please hit play again for the next step. So the next step is going to be to take those memories in that location and really format it um, very similar to what you read in the three examples that you looked at, including the uh, original When I Was Young poem. Your poem is going to kind of follow the structure that you see on the screen. So it's going to start with When I Was Young, The World Was, and you're going to put your location in there. Again, that could be When I Was Young, The World Was Dagan Road. When I Was Young, The World Was Spring Avenue. When I Was Young, The World Was My Grandma's House. Uh, so you're going to put your location in there, and then each stanza is going to end up being uh, kind of some memories that you have from that one location at the top. So this first sentence up here is kind of like your topic sentence for the poem, and then this stanza is going to be some memories that you had or you shared from that location. These memories are going to be, or this is going to be another set of memories that you have from that location. You can, if you look down here at the bottom, change the we apostrophe D to I apostrophe D if you did a lot of things by yourself, or you can kind of mix and match as you go throughout the stanzas. Ultimately, besides the first stanza where you state your location and say, when I was young, the world was blank, I would like you to have four other stanzas, I'm sorry, five other stanzas in addition to that. So by the time you're finished, you have your introductory kind of stanza, when I was young, the world was blank, and then you'll have five other stanzas where you share some memories from those locations. Try and squeeze some figurative language in there because that's what we were looking at when we read this poem. So think about similes, metaphors, personification, and hyperboles that you can put in there. If you want to wait and do the figurative language until after you've kind of drafted your first version of the poem, that's perfectly fine. Then you can go back in and add some of those comparisons or exaggerations um, in there when you're finished. But all of this should go in your writing notebook so that when I come back on Friday we can kind of take a look at these. I am going to encourage you to submit uh, at least one of the poems that you write throughout our unit to the Equus, which is that publication that comes out at the end of the year. Or if you're also interested, there are some other contests uh, in the area that we can submit some poetry stuff to. <clears throat> so live audiences for the work that you are doing. Uh, at this point, that is, <clears throat> once you finish writing your poem for today, that is the end of the lesson for today. And if you don't finish today, that's okay as well. Good luck and best wishes.